Hi there, Leos. Welcome to your weekly reading. Um, when I was shuffling the cards, I got this um, message about vertigo, feeling very, very, very dizzy. So I don't know if many of you are doing something where you're um, on very high elevations. Um, I'm seeing like high altitudes, hiking for some of you. Uh, working in an environment where you're uh, in a very high elevation. Uh, the air is thinning out and I feel like you're getting a little bit dizzy. I see some of you as well being spun around in, on the dance floor by your partner and you know having a good time but I feel this um, energy of uh, getting dizzy. Um, too many choices, too many options, getting dizzy as well. Uh, spinning in circles as well is what I'm, I'm hearing and spinning in circles can um, denote a situation where patterns habits are um, it's like going around in circle communicating in circles with another person um, so that that those things are um, those are the messages that came out initially um, so as you can see I changed the spread and um, the first five cards on the top row um, deals with your main five cards and I clarify them with three cards each for the bottom row okay so the first card I have out here is the king of coins I really like this person this indicates a significant um, relationship partner this is somebody that has their things together you know they're financially stable emotionally stable very generous very loving very giving and they're ready to be in a relationship so this denotes usually an earth sign, a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. This is somebody that is very, very consistent. They like to solve problems. And when you're with them, you don't need to worry about anything because they've got everything covered. They think about all the possibilities, all the different scenarios. They know how to pack for a rainy day. They know how to save up for a rainy day. They know how to plan things out so that you know situations don't go get out of control and they're very very much like they're so dependable that you never have to worry about anything I feel like there might have been a lot of conflict in the past with this person um, they might not express love and emotions the way that you express love and emotions and I feel like this is somebody that can give you a dose of reality if you have like plans that are have not been worked through that have not been well thought out they're not afraid to tell you, hey, you're a little bit premature in your assessment, or hey, you're not doing that the right way. And um, oftentimes, being a fixed sign, if somebody's not with you, they're against you. And so I feel like you might have felt this way in the past. Like, do they really love me? Why aren't they supportive of all the things that I planned or conjured up? But I feel like over time, you come to the realization that this person is just practically minded. You know, if there's a, a, a hole in your strategy or in your plan, they're going to tell you that because they don't want you to proceed with something that is not perfect. And so I feel like over time, you might have realized that this person didn't do it out of spite. They just do it because they care and they do it because they want you to have the best and I feel like it, it took a long time for you to come to this realization this is someone who's incredibly dependable and for some of you this is a soulmate connection here we have here the two of cups and the two of cups in this card is um, it's a really beautiful depiction because it's two people trying to build a nest together two people who are fated to meet because they have complementarities that the other person needs so you have something that they need you're fun you're adventurous and I feel like they're they might be a little bit of a homebody or a stick in the mud and they they might need you to allow them to step out of their comfort zone whereas they're very meticulous and methodical so they might help you ground your plans and your dreams and they will help you you know uh, strategize to allow you to have everything that you want and to work towards the things that you want in a practical way and so i feel like you're no longer questioning or doubting this person for others of you this can indicate meeting somebody like this if you're dating is a great person the energy is really strong for a partnership the second card that you have here is the ten of coins and the ten of coins is about stability in the household um, property, estate planning, it can also signify a situation where 
the the foundation is very very solid and let me see what this relates to I have here an air sign an Aquarius a Gemini or a Libra that you might have children with that you might have shared space with you might have as well joint finances with and you might share property with there is a process where you're dividing up your assets okay so, so for some of you this could be like a, a partner like a divorce or a separation that you're going through for others I feel like um, you're consult excuse me you're consulting somebody when it comes to estate planning when it comes to a will when it comes to a situation where somebody uh, left behind a lot of assets or um, a huge property and it's being divided up between a lot of different family members and everybody wants a piece and everybody is a little bit on the self-serving end there might not have been a will left behind and I feel like everyone is lawyering up in order to get a piece of the pie I'm also sensing it doesn't even have to be cutthroat, but it's just very unclear as to, you know, did uh, grandma leave this to Uncle Jim? Did grandma leave that to, you know, Aunt Mary? So I feel like things were not very well planned out. And there's lack of a will or lack of an estate planning. And as a result of it, uh, there has to be like some type of a pro professional consultant, like a lawyer. Uh, or somebody or um, what are those people called the ones that um, I, I just call it an estate planner somebody that has to be there like a third party has to come in or an outsider has to come in in order to fix the situation because there was lack of uh, financial planning the next part that you have here is the eight of wands and this is a card about travel, swift movement, and swift communication through online or through social media or even through, you know, text messages. So a lot of communication coming into the picture. What I feel happening is this is coming through. It's like an acceleration when it comes to your income generating potential. So some of you might have sent, you know, pieces of yourself out there like uh, waiting to hear back from um, a financial institution, waiting to hear back from jobs, waiting to hear back from internships, waiting to hear back from some type of an organization that I feel would enhance your career or enhance your income generating potential. Um, I'm seeing as well waiting for feedback from teachers, from, from counselors to see if everything, um, it, I'm seeing a lot of people in school who are consulting an academic counselor or who are consulting their professors to finalize some things when it comes to their course of study. So you might ask somebody, like, do I, did I meet all the requirements? Did I take all the right classes? Or you might ask a teacher, did I do this the right way? Did I pass the exams? Can I make up an exam? And then some of you uh, waiting to, to get an okay for them before you publish something, okay? So for those working on thesis, dissertations, even big uh, projects, so that's what I'm feeling. There's a major acceleration in it. So I feel like it's going to happen for you and it's going to happen really, really, really fast. So make sure you get everything done in a timely manner because the turnaround time is very fast. For those of you looking for like a new place of employment, I see that happening as well. The move might happen very quickly as well. Um, I'm also sensing many of you are plotting like a lot of travel and you know, um, as we close out the year, we are heading into the holiday season. So travel is highly indicated. And I see that across the board for many of the signs, but I feel like there's a lot of things that you need to get done and wrap up in order, be, uh, in order to be able to travel and not have to be working, you know, while you're traveling, okay? The next card here is the Seven of Cups. This is being um, inundated with a lot of options, a lot of choices. And also, um, it's a generally it's a neutral card, but depending on what um, other cards clarify it. Okay, so let's just see. I definitely feel like um, you're applying to something. 
applying for work, applying for for a scholarship, applying for an internship, um, hoping to get picked up for an internship, hoping to get picked up for work, hoping to win a scholarship. And I feel like you know time is limited, resources are limited, and so for many of you. I see, like applying for a medical school, applying for a residency program as well, and these applications, I feel like they're time-consuming and they're very, very expensive. So you don't know, you don't know, like how many you should apply for. You don't know. You don't want to squander your resources. I feel that you need to, you know, have at least seven options available to you. I also feel like you might need more money than you're counting on. So, for example, if you're starting,、um, if you're applying for the school and and you're looking through their tuition, and the school says you know thirty five thousand a year, it doesn't factor in you know accommodations and books and and things like that and and healthcare. So you kind of need to set aside a little bit more money than what the the printed number is telling you. Okay, so they're saying like to really read between the lines, and to you know be meticulous about not only reading between the lines, but to be realistic. Be realistic about. Let me see the best way to put this. I feel like you're going off the numbers. And you're not digging deeper, so they're saying to dig a little bit deeper. What does that number really entail? So, for example, if you're looking at a job, right, and they're telling you thirty、um, thousand a year plus commission, ask them what percentage of the commission, and ask them, you know, are the commission scales like consistent after five years? Am I getting the same commission percentage, or are you going to increase? You know, and then ask them if I make salesperson of the year, are you going to up my income? So you have to ask a lot more probing questions, and then just you know, whatever you're gleaning right off the bat. So whatever the number is, whatever the figures are, there's more to the story, and you have to dig a little bit deeper. Okay, you have to ask these probing questions, either through email, email them directly before you even bother going to the interview, because I feel like some things are. Sounds great on paper, and you might be mesmerized by the figures, but you're not really、um, looking behind the scenes. So that's what I'm, I'm sensing. So it's like it's, something is too good to be true, and then once you get the itemized breakdown, and you realize, wait a minute, that's not what was promised to me. Well, in fact, it it, it was there, but I feel like you didn't ask the right questions. So be careful about that. Okay, be very careful about that. Um, whatever chance you get, ask those questions.、Um, I feel for many of you too, this is kind of a career path,、um, different paths, different opportunities as well. When it comes to your big grand career,、um, I'm also seeing some of you waiting on money coming through from a financial institution.、Um, the money is—it it seems to me like there's going to be money coming through, but it seems like a little bit less than what you're hoping for. So you might have to cut corners a little bit. You might have to, you know. Apply for another grant, another source of funding,、um, reaching out to another financier. The last card that we have here is the Nine of Coins. This is a card about overcoming financial troubles and financial worries, having your money grow for you in terms of having you know、uh, rental properties where you have residual income constantly, and this is also a card about self-employment. Many of you. Have dabbled in self-employment, and I feel some of you are going back to it. And then I see for others of you, you're expanding your business, you're relocating your physical business into a new environment, and you are looking for advertisers, or you're looking for a way to market yourself. I sense as well, some of you are contemplating, you know, about shifting from main like a, a nine-to-five job, going into self-employment. And you feel like you have the skills, and I, I see like a lot of trepidation, you know,、uh, not so much fear, but like、um, anxiousness. It's a mixture of excitement and anxiousness, right? Mixture of excitement and anxiety regarding this decision. 
but I feel like you have somebody on your side that's really encouraging you, giving you a lot of emotional support, and telling you, kind of like playing your cheerleader behind the scene, you can do it, you can do this, and I feel like you're taking the plunge. There definitely are a lot of logistics to work out, but I definitely feel like you sense this is the right time, and you sense that you have the competencies in order to make this a success. Okay, and I feel honestly a lot of it stems from the fact that you have a lot of people kind of rooting for you, and you have a lot of people that are telling you you're more than capable. And this is like the honest op opinions coming from people that you trust. Okay, so I wish you the best, Leos, and best of luck with everything for this week. And I'll see you guys next week.